Moving on, the Nigerian government is now introduced our significant economic policy change, trading crude oil and refined petroleum products in Naira instead of foreign currency. Key stakeholders, including Finance Minister Wale Edu and uh, an NPC uh, the Group the Managing Director Melik Yari and uh, NUPRC CEO Engineer Binga Komalafe, analyzed the policy's impact on fiscal stability and medium term economic strategies. Today, we gather to deliberate on the pressing matters related to the sales of crude oil to domestic refineries in Nigeria, in Naira, and its implication on the approved medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper for 2024-2026, and what we should expect for 2025-2027. Additionally, we will examine shortfalls in NMPCL revenue remittances, focusing on key areas such as foreign and domestic excess crude accounts, the signature bonus account, NMPCL cash call account, and any outstanding unremitted revenue linked to under recoveries, linked to under recoveries. This meeting underscores our commitment to transparency, accountability, and the responsible management of our national resources. I am confident that with the collaboration of the Ministry of Finance under the able leadership of the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, the Central Bank of Nigeria, and Revenue Mobilization and Physical Commission, and other critical stakeholders present here, we will identify solutions and ensure that due process are upheld for the benefit of our economy and the Nigerian people. The uh, Tinubu administration's macroeconomic reforms, uh, such as market-based pricing of petrol and motor spirit and deregulation of the foreign exchange rate, have now been praised by Nigeria's finance minister for their fiscal viability. And if I may just summarize the key pillars in order to restore fiscal uh, uh, viability, not just to NNPC in particular, but the country as a whole, there was the twin macroeconomic reforms, bold, courageous, and effective, of having petroleum motor spirit, PMS, uh, a market-based price, market pricing of PMS, and market pricing of foreign exchange. These two pillars of the economic reform, once in place, portend additional revenue for government, recovery of the finances of NNPC, and a basis for growing the economy a basis for attracting investment, increasing productivity, encouraging um, uh, creation of jobs. Senator Musa consulted with NNPCL and NUPRC representatives and other government agencies to discuss policy changes aiming to outline next steps for implementation and monitoring and call for action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.